The leadership at Golden Gate University over many decades has remained true to the mission of serving our students and has remained true to the mission of providing professional education that is practical and advances the careers of our students. I think Otto was exemplary in that front. He was part of a long line of institutional leaders, trustees, administrators, faculty, who are drawn to Golden Gate and continue to be drawn to this institution for, for that work and that mission. What I observed was a, a very hard-working president who inspired hard work among the people who worked for him and the students who were benefiting from the hard work of the faculty. Because of Otto's interest in people and because he was so committed to Golden Gate and his job as a president, his commitment was for the student that they had to come out of Golden Gate proud of their university and be given all the means to successfully achieve their life's goals. Every student was made available to him. He stayed late at night, till seven o'clock at least. He would never come home because he felt the night school. If they had a complaint, who did they go? But that was Otto, he was the humanist. And I think that's what always came out first. He listened to you. How can he be helpful to you? How can he facilitate you? These are the qualities. Otto had a great facility for meeting with people who were outside the sphere of Golden Gate, but nevertheless could help. It was with expertise, it was with providing a staff who could teach, and I don't think you could have attracted that good a faculty. And I do think Golden Gate had an excellent faculty when I was there with someone other than someone who had all the characteristics of Otto. Otto was so far ahead of his time. He was someone who, who saw the future in education and higher education and the need to uh, continually adapt what we teach, how we teach. Fill a need, grow. One of the reasons he was so successful because he was an idea man. One of the key innovations is the way in which he brought education to the military bases around the country. The way he recognized the need for servicemen and women around the country to have access to a quality education. That work was way ahead of its time, being replicated now and imitated by institutions around the country, but he was among the first. He made sure that every person from the military base has received exactly the same education and same requirements as if they were on campus. And it was very, very successful and people loved it. In today's world of innovation, it's online education, it's technology-mediated learning. But the same spirit that Otto brought in terms of taking the education to the student uh, is what motivates the work that we do today. Otto's overall legacy is survival. If you look across the United States today, schools like Golden Gate, which don't have either state or federal or enormous private support are struggling so badly that they may not make it. In fact, many of them have, have already folded. Golden Gate survived. Survived in perhaps maybe the second most competitive market in the United States. It gave so many people, like me, an opportunity to go to college and work at the same time. Unless you're going through it, you don't have that appreciation for how important that is that you have the opportunity because of Otto. Things that I take with me from the, the legacy of Otto is this spirit of innovation, the spirit of never being satisfied that what we do today is what's needed tomorrow. And as we build partnership with the business community around us, as we develop new programs, as we develop new ways to deliver that curriculum, and engage students in, in ways of learning, uh, that we're constantly rethinking what we do and constantly looking for ways to do things better. The other element I think that's so important is, is Otto's demonstration of relationships. Leadership is relational and that his work to build those relations with whether it's the business community or whether it's uh, public policy leaders is about individuals face to face having an understanding of mission, of social need, of student service. 
Uh, and this is something that animates our deans, our faculty, uh, administrators at the university, and it's something that, that day in and day out we try to carry forward. And I think a lot of what Otto's leadership did is what inspires us today. We're so pleased to be able to recognize Otto Butts' legacy and leadership at this institution. But we're also very pleased and proud to be able to recognize his partner's role, Velia. Velia was not only a supporter for the time and the many years that Otto led this institution, she has kept his legacy alive. And we are so proud to be able to recognize both of them and the work that they have done for Golden Gate University with the dedication of this space.